If I had to describe 2020 in one word, I would probably pick grateful, even though that's a little bit surprising, perhaps, given all of the different situations that are going on with COVID and the election and social justice things that are happening um, throughout the world. But we got introduced to our newborn son in July, and we've been trying to bring him into this world for seven years. So it was a long time coming. So yeah, super grateful. Austin, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really beat that. So I'll just stick with Austin with the one gift to 2020. This year has been pretty miraculous, not just with Austin's arrival, but also, um, you know, finding a vaccine for a disease or a virus that didn't even exist beyond a lab space over a year ago, being able to find a vaccine within a year, ready to distribute to everybody so that we can get back to some sort of normalcy next year, I think is pretty miraculous. and. Um, all things along with that, like the new administration and having a first woman and a woman of color be the vice president, I think is incredible. And I think these are just incredible times that we're living in. Happy holidays from our family to yours. May you stay safe and healthy. And we're so excited for 2021 with everyone. Whoosh.